You know that feeling when you're using a website and everything just works. Smooth animations, fast loading, no glitches. And then there are those websites that make you want to scream. Buttons don't respond. Things take forever to load. And you're wondering if you've accidentally time traveled back to 2005. There's a reason for that. Developers don't build websites from scratch anymore. They use frameworks. These pre-built structures handle the heavy lifting, so developers can focus on creating great user experiences. But not all frameworks are created equal, and that's where things get interesting. Developers often pair them up, using one for the front end and another for the back end. Let's dive into the most popular frameworks and the famous combos that power the web. Let's start with the heavy hitters. When it comes to front end frameworks, three names dominate the scene, React, Angular, and Vue.js. If you've ever interacted with Facebook, Instagram, or Airbnb, you've seen React in action. Built by Facebook, React is the go-to choice for developers looking for a fast, interactive UI. It allows you to build dynamic applications without losing performance. Then there's Angular, Google's full-fledged framework for large-scale applications. Unlike React, which is more of a library, Angular provides a comprehensive solution, perfect for complex enterprise applications where organization is key. Lastly, we have Vue.js, a rising star. It's lightweight and incredibly developer-friendly, making it a favorite for smaller projects or teams who want a balance between simplicity and power. But let's not forget the backend. This is where frameworks like Node.js, Django, and Spring Boot come into play. Node.js is a favorite for JavaScript lovers because it lets you use JavaScript for both the front end and the back end. It's great for building fast, scalable applications, especially when you want to work with real-time data. On the other hand, Django is perfect for Python developers who need something secure and scalable. It's often used for applications that handle large amounts of data or need a robust API. If you're into Java, Spring Boot is the go-to framework for enterprise-level applications, providing stability and scalability where performance matters most. Now here's where things get exciting. Some frameworks work better together. For example, React and Node.js are a match made in heaven. They both use JavaScript, so you can work across both the front end and back end without switching languages. This full stack combo is perfect for startups who need speed and scalability. Many big names like Netflix and PayPal use this duo for their fast, interactive web applications. Then there's Angular and Spring Boot, the go-to combo for enterprise level applications. Angular's structured setup pairs perfectly with Spring Boot's powerful backend, making it a reliable choice for large projects that require both performance and organization. Another popular pairing is Vue.js and Laravel. Vue.js is lightweight, and Laravel's PHP framework is perfect for small to medium projects that need to be built quickly without sacrificing quality. If you're concerned about SEO and fast server-side rendering, Next.js and Express.js are a winning duo. Next.js helps with SEO by rendering pages on the server side, while Express.js handles the backend. Finally, if you're building data-heavy applications, consider Django and React. This combination leverages Django's scalability with React's interactive front-end, making it perfect for projects where performance and user experience are both crucial. So when should you choose which combination? If you're a startup and need something quick, React and Node.js are ideal. If you're working on a large-scale enterprise app, Angular and Spring Boot will give you the structure and power you need. For something lightweight and easy to learn, Vue.js and Laravel are a great choice. If SEO and server-side rendering matter most, Next.js and Express.js are your go-to. And for projects dealing with large data sets, Django and React will serve you well. Choosing the right combination can really make or break your project. It's not about finding the best framework, but the one that fits your needs. So, what's your go-to combination? Have you tried any of these pairings? Let me know in the comments, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more web development insights. Catch you in the next video.